Hello, this lesson is all about uh, developing the formulas of our special quadrilaterals which are our parallelogram, trapezium, rhombus and kite. To do this what we'll be doing is we'll, we've got a couple of GeoGebra applets organised that will manipulate parallelograms, trapeziums, a rhombus and a kite um, into some plane shapes so that we can work out their area nice and easily. Okay, the first one's a parallelogram. Now, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides, um, and if we draw a line down there perpendicular to our base, we can see we make a right angle triangle, and it looks like that triangle could move over there. So let's move it across, and what you can see now is the area of our brown rectangle is the same as the area of our parallelogram, we've just cut it and moved it. So now we've got a rectangle to work out the area of, which means I can multiply the base length by the height. In this case I'll do 19 times 8 and get the answer for that. So for a parallelogram to work out the area we multiply the base by the perpendicular height and we end up with a formula A equals B times H. Okay, for a trapezium now. Now remember a trapezium is a quadrilateral, four sides, with one pair of parallel sides, in this case the top and the bottom. Now what we're going to do, we're going to divide it in half through the middle like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin that around so that it sits like that. Now what we've done, we've turned our trapezium into a parallelogram. Now we just worked out that we can work out the area of our parallelogram by multiplying the base by the perpendicular height of the parallelogram. Now that perpendicular height will be half of the total height of the trapezium and the length of the base will be the length of the bottom plus the length of the top because that bit there originally was the top. So the length here would be 17 plus 9 multiplied by half of whatever the height is. So that gives us a formula for the area of a trapezium, half of the height multiplied by the sum of the top and the bottom, or area equals h over 2 times a plus b, where the a and the b are the parallel sides. Right, the next one we're having a look at is a rhombus. Now a rhombus has all four sides equal in length, and you can see also that the diagonals cross at, or they intersect at right angles. Now if we have a look at this triangle, it looks the same as this one, this one, the same as this one and so on. So what we're going to do is move a couple of those around like that. So what we did, we took this one, slid it over there, this bottom one, put it up into the top right hand corner. And what you can see is that if you've got a rhombus and you scribe a rectangle around the outside of it, the area of that rhombus will be half of the area of the rectangle. Now to work out the area of a rectangle, we multiply it by the length and the breadth. In this case, the breadth is half of that diagonal of the rectangle. The length of the re rectangle is the diagonal of the rhombus. So the area calculation would be half of this diagonal multiplied by the other diagonal. So we've got area is half of one diagonal multiplied by the other diagonal. If we call the diagonals x and y, the area formula would be half of x and y, where x and y is the product of the diagonals. Right, next shape is our kite. In our the special properties of a kite is that we've got two pairs of adjacent sides equal in length. If we draw in one diagonal and the other diagonal, we can see that they intersect at right angles, which again sets up a whole bunch of congruent triangles. This triangle is the same size as that one, this one's the same size as that one, or this triangle here would fit up into that spot, the same as this triangle here would fit up into that spot there. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. So you can see the area of the kite 
is half of the area of the rectangle that encloses the kite. And again, same deal as the rhombus. The length of our rectangle is the length of the long diagonal. The width or the height of our rectangle is half of that diagonal. So the area formula for kite is exactly the same as a rhombus. Half of one diagonal times the other one, or half of one diagonal times the other one, half xy. So in summary, for our four special quadrilaterals that we're looking at here, parallelogram, area is the base times the height. Rhombus, area is half times diagonal x times diagonal y. Trapezium, half of the height times a plus b, and the kite, the same again. Area is half of the product of the diagonals. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Thanks very much for watching.